Welcome to a blender how to make and for today filling spaces with items without doing this manually plus I'll show you how to make this into one solid object so for example you can use it as a game asset before we start I'll show you what you will learn for today adding active objects adding passive objects how to randomize objects making objects invisible for the render turning the whole show into one single object for the people that are new to blender i recommend you to follow my easy tutorials first i've got a scene ready so it will save me up some time i want this box to be filled with these coins and or i got a secondary box which in case is low poly and allow me to show you why you should have that first things first i'm going to move this box into my box and then i'm going to turn off this subdivision surface so you have a better idea of what's going on with this secondary box being selected i go to the physics tab and turn this into a passive object because i want this box to interact with this coin but i don't want this box to move now i'm going to select this coin and i'm going to turn it into an active object because I want it to move naturally onto my box. But if I press play, you can straight away see that the coin is not falling onto the bottom of my box. And this is the reason why you want to have a secondary box. So you can go into edit mode and very simply, as you can see, four tiny little cubes and move it down four tiny little cubes. You'll have to do the same with the side. Move it up for the left side and or go to the side view and do the same over here and this one. And the last thing is the top also. One, two, three, four. Now, if I would press play, the coin drops exactly onto the bottom of the box. Now making the side like this will not only take care, it will tighten up against the box, but it will also make sure that the coin if it would drop like this, it will just fall in. The next thing I'm going to do is add in a plane. I'm just going to move it like so. So I have an idea of how I am scaling it because I want to have it like this. Then the next thing is I'm just going to move it up here because I also don't want to have coins going through the top of the box. I'm going to align it with it and move it one, two, three off it and make it into a passive object now the next thing we are going to do is make a randomizer because you want to have these coins randomized in your chest as much as possible just spawn in a cube move it something like this and the first thing is to remove the face on the bottom and remove the face on the top then grab the bottom and then place it something like two blocks above the chest and then scale it on the y x like so so all the coins will drop inside the box then grab the top move this down until something like this and scale it something like this and then extrude it just once like so because we're also going to add in a cone it's going to resize the cone something like this now before continuing we also need to make sure that our randomizer is a passive object and to make sure that we can still see what's going on in our box which i mean this we want to make sure that we turn all the stuff off which we don't want to see in our render so we have a better idea of what's going on so i'm just going to select our secondary box and then i'm going to turn off the render view I'm going to select the randomizer, turn it off. I'm going to select the back plane and turn it off. And the last one is this cone and turn this off too. And now you can see nothing is in our way. In this case, make the cone into a passive object and or from the side view, we just want to move this something like this. You don't have to do this precisely because you want to randomize it and then all the and put one here then select both of these just place it like so and or we want to make sure that our randomizer box from the front view the important is also like so so the points will drop inside the box now just a few more cones like this 
the next thing I'm going to do is select the randomizer. Please select this one. And I'm going to alt D, copy this, and just put it on the top. And the next thing is just grab one of these cones and just move it somewhere. And the reason why I didn't do that before copying this is because you want to randomize stuff as much as possible. And now I'm going to do the top, something like this. Now I'm just going to select this coin and then Alt D copying it because you want to share the same data. And if you change color of one coin, you want the colors of all coins to change. So I'm just going to do something like this very roughly. And then once again, just grab one of these coins and move them off site. I used the white before, but I can just select them and do this and do that. Something like so. Now these coins are randomized. Then I'm just going to select the whole group without these ones, of course. And I'm just going to alt D them. So, a random select some more. A random select some more. And in this case, the group is getting larger and larger. I'm just going to play this. And you already seen that one of these coins has been falling off the box and is now going endless to the bottom. That's something you also don't want, so you just select the floor and then copy the floor, just move it down something like this and add passive so it goes through your main floor but doesn't keep falling endless. And you also see that one of these coins has been falling through the box itself, which in case is not a problem because it's not shown on your render. Now also one another thing is a problem in that as you can see that a few of these coins are stuck and if I would render this whole show you see some coins floating in the air and that is also something you don't want and there is only one way to actually solve this problem and that is just move this thing out of the way this one at the side and this is just something you will have to keep doing and doing and doing until it's fine. And after a while messing around, it looks pretty good. There are no coins floating in the air. And or I can show you that I have took some coins out of here. I placed it here on the top. I have randomized a few more of these coins to just fill it up here and there. And now it's time to turn the whole show into one solid object. I'm going to choose frame 250 because I like that the most. And I'm going to turn it to 250. And I'm going to zoom in and now the point comes. I'm going to select all these coins and I'm going to select my second floor. And I'm going to take care that I deselect everything I don't need. Like so. All I got is the coins and the secondary floor. And I'm going to shift D this stuff, press escape, move it up to a second room. And or I'm going to show you why you have to select a Passive object with the active object. Um, once again, I'm going to select these coins and I'm, this time I'm taking care. I only got the coins. I'm going to duplicate this and move it to a room below. Now, if I would hold shift and select one random coin that all the coins have to be attached to, and I'm going to press Ctrl J, you can see everything has joined one coin, but there is a but. If I would turn off this active by removing it, this will happen. It will go totally out of control. Now let's go back to this. With everything being selected, I'm going to select the floor as last, holding shift, select the floor, and I'm going to press Ctrl J to join the floor. If I would remove the passive, you can see the coins just stay where they are. And now it's pretty simple. I'm just going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select this floor. And I'm just going to delete the floor. And there you go. We have one solid object. Which is randomized. Now you can just you know adjust it the way you would like it to be with the orb. And in this case I'm going to go back to my main scene. I'm just going to 
select some kind of stuff and i'm just going to move this up to the room below so now i have removed everything away from this scene besides my main box i go back to room number two i will just select my coins move them back to room number one all i have to do now is move them up something like this and i have to turn back the up the surface and put them on two go back to my camera and press f12 and there you go i got my crate i got it fill it randomly with coins and or i can just select this whole bunch down here and just move it anywhere i would like without have to recalculate the whole show i can just put it all to frame number one if you've got some questions or a request then comment below if this video was useful then like and subscribe thanks for watching